What did the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say a famous sentence about Abu Dhahda? The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Rabiha al bay'u Abu Dhahda. It's a very famous sentence in Islam. Rabiha al bay'u, it means who's when the payment or the, the selling thing. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam one day was in the masjid Then a guy came to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Which his dad and his mom they passed away His mom and dad they passed away And he's alone And he tried to make wall around his house But subhanAllah there is a tree, dates a tree Just in the middle of this wall And if he tried to build his wall This tree comes in the middle and he went to an Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said, Ya Rasulullah, I try to make my wall, but the tree is there and this tree is for someone else and I need help. Because I spoke with this man, he didn't accept to remove his tree. The tree called Nakhal in, in Arabic, which is a special tree only for dates. Then an Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked, the man for the tree to come to speak with the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to this man, he said, I will make a deal with you. I will give you a tree in Jannah. And this tree in Jannah, the shadow for this tree, if you walk for a hundred years, you will not finish this tree. But SubhanAllah, the dunya came to this man, then he said, Ya Rasulullah, I didn't accept. Then there is Sahabi, his name, Abad Dahdah. Abad Dahdah, he is one of the companion. He saw the situation, then he spoke with the Nabi Sallallahu He said, Ya Rasulullah, is everyone know my farm in Medina? Everyone know the farm of Abad Dahdah. It's the biggest farm in Medina. And in his farm, he has 600 trees of the Nakhal, of the dates tree. And he has palace inside. And most of the people, they just like to eat from his dates because he has very good quality. He said, Ya Rasulullah, I will give him the whole farm to this man if he will accept just to remove his tree. Then this man accepted. He said, yes, I will take his farm, then I will remove this tree. Then the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, yes, Ya Abid Dahda, he was generous, but Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is most generous. That's why Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will give you for each tree, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will give you a farms in Jannah, you cannot, even I cannot account them. Then Abu Dahdah went back to the home. His, his wife, she was there. This means, look, how was the family in Islam before? How was they looking for dunya? He went back, his wife in home, and he said, we need to move. They said to him, why? He said, I made a deal. And they sold this tree, this farm. She said, I know you are the best businessman I saw. It means, I know you will win always. She thought she, he is doing deal in dunya. She said, no. I saw this farm and we will get something in Jannah. Then his wife, she said, Rabah al bay'u abad dahdah. It means, we both win in Jannah, inshallah. And that's how was the Muslims. They were very generous. Even if something you think it's very important in your life, they just give it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when, he, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about sadaqah in the Quran, He said, لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرَّةِ Al-Birra is 
it's a level in Islam. You will not reach this level until you pay something you need. It means something you love. Not just if you say, I have five pounds in my pocket, but I don't need it. Okay, I will give it as a sadaqah. Mm -hmm. But if you, sometimes if you have 100 pounds, and this is the only 100 pounds you have in your day, then you say, okay, I believe because I'm Muslim, I know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give me more. You just put it like this. This money will take you to the bill. I met, I will end with this story, I met one of the biggest businessmen in Kuwait. We prayed in his masjid. Then after Salah, he asked me to come to his home. And he said to me, Shaykh, I will tell you something. He said, well, I said to him, when we came to the masjid, everything in the masjid is from the top quality. Even the wood, the walls, the mic system, everything. He said to me, Shaykh, if I put everything in masjid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me 10 more. That's why when I ask my uh, sons to go to masjid to put anything, I say to them, put the best quality because I know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what you want. If you reach this sureness, this yaqeen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you. For some Muslims, they think the sadaqah or even the dua. Do you know the dua will not accept if you don't have sureness? This means if you are, as a Muslim, you don't have sureness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept your dua when you make dua. If you don't reach this level, the dua will not accept. So when you open your hand, don't just say, I'm just normally doing dua. No, you should say, you should reach to the point, you should understand when you make the dua, the dua is reach to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala listen, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not accept now, maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you from something else. Mm -hmm. That's why try to clean your body with sadaqah, and try to open your hand, and this is the meaning of Muslim life. Jazakumullah khair, and I'm really happy to be with you. Inshallah, tomorrow I'm going to somewhere else. Inshallah, we'll see you every year with good health. Keep us in your dua, inshallah. We'll see you always, inshallah. Happy, inshallah, and enjoying your Ibadah, inshallah.